Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Legends Return to Clockwork City. Uh, let's go ahead and try this one. Look, it's those meddlers. Let's see if we can slow them down. Do you feel that? The floor, it's moving. Mm, the conveyor will send you to the incinerator, so be careful. Yikes, okay. Um, I've got a uh, an assassin deck set up here, because I've uh, got a quest, conveniently, to summon a bunch of Dwemer. So I have a, I have a Dwemer assassin deck going. As well as some quests for uh, actions and empowers, so uh, we'll see if we can knock some of those out. Alright, at the end of the turn, creatures... Here will move. Creatures can't be played here at the end of your turn. Creatures here are dealt one damage. Ah. That could be bad. Uh, we'll get rid of that. And that's probably not what I want right now either. But those are definitely not what I want. <laughs> we'll see if we can draw something a little better maybe. So basically... Every turn, stuff from here goes to here and then takes damage. Gotcha. Um, I wonder if that happens all at once or not. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Um, I'm just going to start with an Ice Spike so we can draw a card here. That's a little bit better. If I fall, okay. So is it only at the end of my turn? I guess that sort of makes sense. Um, let's just try it. I want to draw the card anyway, so uh, I guess that's all well and good. Yeah, okay, and then they both move there. I will end you. There is no place. Gotcha, okay. I, I, I get it. Three damage to a creature and power plus one damage. Ah, uh, no. Instead, we are going to... Well, see, if I do that, then he's going to attack my guy with the thing. Hmm. I like this better. Because then at least I can use this guy to get rid of that. Oh, he's going to move him back. I see. I can see uh, moving cards being useful here. Gotcha. Alright, so I think the plan here is quite simple. We do one of those. So that I can channel the storm this guy into oblivion. And then... Yeah... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you there. We're gonna lose it, but it doesn't matter. We'll get it back. We're really waiting for one of our uh, enchantments to make. I see your next move before you think of it. Waiting for one of our enchantments to make it so that we can um, have these guys have a lot more power. Uh, we could just zap somebody. Instead, I think I'll put you down, and we'll just wait. Because those guys, ah, right, because those guys are going to get toasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I will end this. That's a good spill to see right about now. Um, let's see, your Shulk Fabricant. Could, could play him and get a, uh, a card out of it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say I was gonna play my fingers in the mountain, but I think I'll save it. And uh we'll play you instead. See what we get. Journey to Sovngarde, okay, not quite what uh, I was expecting to see there. So you're out of here. And uh you may as well get played as well.
So he's going to kill that, but he's also just going to die next turn, so we don't really need to worry about that. Okay, I don't have any way to silence those, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to leave them be. Uh, Alright, Prophecy Guard, gain health. Summon a Spider Worker. Is that the guy that I have in here? No, that's a Gearwork Spider, not the same thing. Okay. Good to know. Um, could kill quite a few creatures with uh, with that. I think I'm gonna actually summon you, and uh, we may as well get you as well. For the uh, the HP, if nothing else. So that guy's toast, and then we can attack with the uh, the this guy next turn if I play an action. So that'll be fine. Okay, moving him back. That really makes no difference to me whatsoever. What comes the power to waste my breath? Die, Outlander. I stand ready. Guild recruit, lethal one two. That's uh, that's totally fine. We uh. We're going to deal with this as such. Uh, first, you zap that lady. Then you zap this guy. Then you zap that lady. So that you can attack like so. And then you come over here and you smack him. You get a prophecy guard creature. And then you realize you drew halls of the Dwemer, which would have been useful to play right about now. But it's a little bit too late. So instead, um, go ahead and, uh, yeah, go ahead and play this. Ooh, top card is not colorless. I was thinking it really would be. Time flows and it's wasted. Come and face me. Judgment. A lot of HP on those. Die, okay. I kind of would have preferred that to not go straight to the face, honestly. What what can you do? Um, Alright, so let's play this. We'll play that. We'll play that. And we'll play... I guess there's not really any reason to play that, because I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Attack you many times and you're going to die. Ooh, you're maybe not gonna die. Maybe not yet. Okay. Uh, no, you're definitely gonna die. Sail through storms, does it again. See ya. All right, that was uh, that was interesting. A little easier actually than I thought it was gonna be, uh, especially at first there. And there you go. <laughs> Almost got those quests done already. So here we have unlocked Ruthless Freebooters, okay? And here we've got a Fire Pot Spider. Last gasp. One damage to all creatures in this lane. That's kind of interesting. This way, I think I see another memory star. Okie dokie. Uh, I guess we're going to have to do some of these now. Let's start here. A dark day. Our annual pilgrimage to the heart of Lor Khan ended in disaster. It was only through a cunning trick that we escaped with our lives. Win this turn. I think I can do it. Can I do it on the first try? That is another situation entirely. <laughs> Dagoth Ur. Ooh. Spicy. All right, win this turn to allow your forces to retreat, okay? Behold, arrogant tribunal. The power of the heart flows through me and my minions. We are the gods now, growing stronger. As you grow weaker, it is time to pay for your betrayal. Mm, but is it though? Alright, so when you attack, a guard gains plus 3 plus 0 and breakthrough to the end of the turn, so I can use these to get rid of that. But I have to kill this man. 
all enemy creatures in this lane guard. Firebolt. That's three plus three. Move an enemy creature into this lane and loses cover. Hmm. So, got seven MP to work with here. Can only play one of these two. That gives a creature guard. Okay, sort of. Sort of in, get, in getting some ideas here. So I think what I want to do is give you that to bring you over here. Then I want to drop you here to give you guard. And then I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope this actually works. Okay. Hey, all right. You think you've won. I still hold the heart. Escape while you can, Sothaso. I am patient. My victory will come. Will it? I have no idea. Alright, not bad. That was uh, fairly easy. Got it on the first try, can't complain there. Star Sign Bard. Immune to silence, unique cards cost one less. That's interesting. Have learned. The heart is too important. A backup must be created. But where to store such a thing? I shall build a new chamber beyond the inner curiosity. That's it. That's where the heart must be. Okay. That's where we will go as soon as we do this other one. There was always a 47% chance Mechanar would seek my power. But he has done far worse. Today I found his... test subjects. Acolytes modified against their will. Merged with beasts through steel and sorcery. Beautiful in their way, but abominable. There was only one thing to be done. Was there now? Guess uh, I'm gonna have to kill Mechanar. All right, Mechanar has confronted you in your workshop. Use the tools at hand to defeat him this turn. You would condemn me? Hypocrite! Fraud! This is what you strive for! The creation of the perfect life form! You have misunderstood me, Mechina. I suppose? Draw a copy of a friendly creature. Draw an item of support from your discard. Treasure hunt, zero cost card. Put a copy of the treasure in your hand. Guard, guard. What's this? Treasure hunt, three colorless cards or neutral cards, I guess. Sacrifice. Guard, break through, only your choice. Uh, do I need that though? Probably, yes. So, let's look at my discard pile. There's nothing in it. <laughs> There's nothing in his discard pile either. So yeah, I don't know. Draw a copy of a friendly creature. What is that? I have to draw a zero cost card. Ah, okay. So, if I do, if I do this to start, 
I get that treasure hunt. Then... What do we do next? <laughs> so I guess I've done all I can there, actually. Hmm, was that the thing to do, though? Draw an item or support from your discard pile. Ah, okay. So I th think I need to do this so I can do that. Then I can do this. And put you there. It doesn't really matter where I put you, actually. Because then I can play that on you. Stone throw this guy into the ether. And you're out of here. Never had a chance. <laughs> So that has yielded me a Kaguti Fabricant. If you have a neutral card in place, summon one of these in the other lane. Interesting. And Abandoned Imperfects. Cool. I've seen this uh, play before, I believe. I cast Mechanar out of the city. Now... I must rework the enchantments that seal the chamber of Lorcan to ones that Mechanar could never break. There. I think I can see enough of the new enchantments in this memory to determine how to unravel them. Now we just need to find the chamber. Easy enough. I bet it's right here. Yes, this is the place. I can see the contours of the enchantment but it's going to take tremendous power to break it. Perhaps the machinery here can help. Whatever you're going to do, do it fast. The defenses are stirring. Okay, gain enough magic to break the enchantment and win the game? Hmm. I may not have the deck I require to do this, but let's just push play and we'll see what happens. Dwarven Colossus. Use the waiting generators to get Lanneth the magic she needs to break the enchantment and open the chamber. Uh, I would like to kind of see... When an enemy creature in this lane dies on your turn, gain max magicka. What is my win condition? How much magic do I need? It's not quite clear. Uh, well, I definitely don't want those. Curious Fabricants. Um, alright, well. This might be handy. May as well do that to start with, I guess. Can these not attack? I guess not. At least they didn't. I mean, maybe it's because it was the first turn. That's probably it. Now that I think about it. Uh, let's have you... Become uh, able to attack. Beyond that, I, I don't know. There's not really much else I can do on this particular turn, so I'll just leave it be. That's to be expected. Shalt Fabricant. Also, uh, not surprising to see that in this uh, particular deck. Are you Dwemer? No, you're an automaton. Uh, well. Definitely... 
gonna put you there. And uh, I think we'll just leave it be for now. Okay. Ah, here we go. Break the enchantment. 15 match go, we win the game. Gotcha. Definitely sign me up for uh, for some of that action. And then I think uh, I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to leave everything be for the moment. Taking a little bit of damage to the face, but that's, that's, I'm not too worried about that just yet here. That's unfortunate, though. I was really hoping to be able to use her to attack this turn. Uh, a lightning bolt actually doesn't sound too bad. Do I want to play anything else first or instead, though? Um, not really. I guess I could, actually. If I... I'm not going to be able to empower, but uh, that's not that big a deal. I'm going to put you over there. We'll zap you to get you out of here. And uh, just end the turn for the moment. Okay, that's not that big a deal. I can still use them to get rid of that, that uh, fabricant there. Okay, Gearwork Spider, Brass Archibus. Um, actually, that's a little, little bit worse than I thought. I was, I didn't realize she also got affected by that. Um, give me this, and then we're gonna put, I think, yeah, we'll put you in this lane. We'll put you in this lane. I will have your head. And then we're going to take this guy out. We're, we're already pretty close to being able to finish this off. That's unfortunate. I can still get it. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, this is actually excellent. Okay. I think what you do here is, uh... Get a zap. Definitely zap that guy. And then I think you zap that guy. Zap that guy. Kill that guy. And uh, we'll play a reflective automaton over here. And go for the face, because we can. Going for my generators. That's the, certainly to be expected. That could be a problem. Could be a problem. Actually, it might not be that big a deal. I'm gonna put you here. It can't be stolen. It's gonna get a bunch of those. That's fine, though. I think. Actually, could have just won this this turn, or not quite. Not quite. No, that's true. But we'll, we'll win this next turn, so I guess we're fine. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get your cards out of here. And we win. At last. Once again, you have led me to my quarry. My old master ensured I could never break those seals. Thankfully, you have done it for me. It's Mekinar, the apprentice from Sothasil's memories. Yes. And it's about time you witness my true power. <laughs> I mean, aside from the memories, we haven't actually really witnessed any of your power, but yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> Show me what you got, pal, buddy, friend. 
Level up. And what do we got? Hey, two quests done. Pretty good. Can't complain about that. Here we have... Nice. Yeah, you get a guaranteed legendary at like level... I think like 24 and 32 or something like that. And that's why I was playing as Wood Elf, so I could hopefully get this guy or uh, one of the other green legendaries. I'm definitely happy to get this guy, though. He's pretty good. Um, on top of that, we've received a Dwarven Colossus. Summon a Power Sphere in each lane. What is a Power Sphere? Zero five with Garn at the start of your turn. Uh, give Dwarven Colossus a random keyword. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, Aldora the Daring. So two legendaries. We've uh, we fought her previously. For centuries I have prepared for this moment, crafting myself into a tool that could absorb this power. Now at last, Godhood is mine, and your services are no longer required. Well, that seems bad. And I guess that's it. <laughs> there you go, the end of Act 2. Uh, I guess we uh, better hurry up and uh, get to Act 3 so that we can take care of uh, Mechanar's little godhood uh, shenanigans here, because he doesn't seem like a very good guy. <laughs>